what's up future millionaires and welcome back to this daily cryptocurrency video in today's video we're going to be having a look at polygon matic network and seller network the reason why i want to have a look at seller network is because it's very very important uh coin and it could replicate exactly what matic did matic network did so this uh, seller network was in the is it is in the exact same position um essentially that matic was a few months ago so let's dive in into seller network real quick so what is seller network seller network provides a layer two options for ethereum to lower and reduce fees um, we got 44,000 people watching it and I remember when I got into Matic at about two cent I remember it was the exact same it was ranked 158 even 200 approximately uh, right now seller network is currently being traded at three cents three and a half cents we got an increase of a uh, uh, percent and a half today and we got a market cap guys of 202 million dollars guys this is dirt cheap the circulating supply is the thing that catches my eyes too we got a circulating supply of 5.6 uh, billion and a max supply of 10 billion now why is why am i saying this why is this interesting well if we go back to matic net polygon network right right now that rebranded by the way they did go 10x on their watch list right here as you guys can see 423,000. currently ranked 16 traded at one dollar and 30 cents we got an eight billion dollar market cap guys that is massive and the reason why i was looking at circulating supplies because they have the same one approximately we got circling supply of matic of 6.29 uh, billion and then the max supply is the exact same of 10 billion <clears throat> so uh so let's dive in real quick we're gonna do some charts we're gonna see what they have this is the website guys push blockchain to mainstream adoption fast secure low cost application with advanced layer 2 uh scaling platform as you guys can see app seller network blockchain boom what is seller network seller network is a seller eh, sorry blah, blah, blah. seller network is a layer 2 scaling platform that brings fast secure and low cost blockchain application on the ethereum polka dot and other guys and other blockchain mass adoption so this is going to be very very big um as you guys can see it's fast secure whatever it is um cheaper 100 they're saying that it's 100 uh, times uh, lower cost for fees so if you're trying to transfer ethereum or anything that's on the erc20 token would be essentially cheaper um another thing is that guys this is not a competition of matic i would say this is more like matic's little brother why am i saying that because they have a partnership together guys look at that partnership announced of course this was a few weeks ago nothing new but uh seller and matic they you know they're working together they're integrating together for a future of layer 2 scaling solution so so um, in my opinion, this is Matic's little brother. When seller will reach one dollar, in my opinion, Matic will be um, <clears throat> will some Polygon Network. Matic will essentially be ten dollars. That's my honest opinion. Even more, even twenty dollars. So, um, but the gains, in my opinion, are higher in seller network. So let's dive in into the charts real quick. I will be doing a Bitcoin uh, technical analysis at the end of the video, so make sure you stick through. Um, anyways, diving into seller network right here. What do we have right here? Well, guys, we are in a downtrend, as you guys can see. So this is a downtrend right here. If I bring this down, okay, the trend is your friend until it bends, guys. As you guys know, it works and, and it, it's on a bear market too. Uh, what can we see over here? Well, we have a touch right here, as you guys can see. One, two, three. We got four. This was the nice little peak right here. And then the fake out Bitcoin when Bitcoin dump. Four. We got five and then we got six right here so we have a few um we have we actually have a lot of uh, touches right here we also have a parallel channel if i bring this down here okay so we got one touch two touch three touch four touch in my opinion we could come back down i'm not saying this this will happen guys but we could in my opinion it looks like we are coming um you know to this level right here to the one and a half cent and this is exactly when i told everyone to buy matic it was a cent and a half so um guys of course none of this is financial uh, advice so always do your own research and due diligence but it's very very possible that we come back here one more time and pop back up and go parabolic from here i've made a lot of and tons of video on matic and a lot of people were uh, essentially happy um essentially happy when i made that video so uh going on to uh to the let's have a look at the exponential moving average real quick to see where we stand so on the exponential moving average guys we are we did come back yesterday we tried retesting that uh the ema ribbons and we essentially got rejected so we got rejected here a few times so we are still in a downtrend guys as you guys can see so nothing too crazy to see over here if we have a look at the moving average something very important on the daily time frame we are being well supported on the daily time frame by the moving average and this is a 200 moving average right here this blue line and unfortunately the 50 moving average is coming down so we have been trending if i remove the nine moving average which is the red line uh, we've been trending essentially in between these uh in between these uh, moving averages so can we see something like this tighter and tighter forming uh before seeing a massive breakout to the upside or to the downside yes it's very very possible but 
regardless if we go to the downside in my opinion seller network is definitely a coin that we should dollar cost average in i will be i will keep purchasing uh seller network there's no question i i currently have some coins uh, or a lot of coins um and i will definitely keep a dollar costing average every dip i don't care if it keeps dipping i don't care if it goes to half a cent i will keep accumulating because i guarantee you guys if you guys hold this for two three years you will be rich and i i'm i guarantee you almost 90 percent um, so let's move in into the four hour time frame, see what we can do over here. Well, on the four time frame, we are below the 200 moving average. In my temp, in my opinion, if you guys are willing to trade, I wouldn't be completely bullish until, um, until we essentially break these, uh, the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average, as you guys can see, we've been trending below this. So yeah, we're, we are still in downtrend as you guys can see on the longer time frame. We are in this channel. I'm going to, I'm going to have a look at the channel in just a second. Actually, I did have a look at the chan channel, sorry. Um, but yeah, like nothing too crazy to see over here. We saw the death cross right here on the four hour. And ever since we've been, uh, trending, uh, down, you know, to the downside essentially. So, um, uh, so yeah, this was the channel I already mentioned at the beginning of the video. Nothing too crazy to see over here. Let's have a look at Polygon Network. Polygon Network. A lot of people that are you know you, a lot of a lot of lovers on Polygon Network. So I'm gonna cover that real quick. Um, so Polygon Network. If we have a look at the EMA ribbons right here, we are approaching on the 55 exponential moving average, which is pretty pretty crazy, or not pretty crazy, but it's pretty pretty important. If we manage to break that, I wouldn't be surprised to come back to the 88 two dollar region. Um, you know, that being said, we're going to have to see what happens over the weekend. Usually there's some big moves that happens over the weekend. If we have a look on the moving averages also, um, I believe we saw the death cross yesterday on the moving average. Yeah. So guys, unfortunately we did see the death cross right here, which is pretty uh, bearish right here on, on uh, Matic network, unfortunately. So we should see some more farther action. Um, going on to Bitcoin, nothing too crazy on Bitcoin. We are still actually trending. I believe if I have a look at the exponential moving average, uh, we are actually, uh, forming a, um, a inverse head and shoulder right now actually so uh the inverse head and shoulder would be something like this we got a left shoulder we got the head we got the right shoulder right here in my opinion the target should be approximately forty-two thousand. if this happens forty-four thousand. uh let's have a look if we take this right here and we drag it to the top and we put it at the breakout yeah exactly forty-three thousand. so it's gonna really depend on that we're, we're gonna have to see what's up right here bitcoin currently up 0.15 percent uh, so nothing too crazy to see over here if we have a look at the exponential moving average i believe we are yeah we are trending well above the x well not well above but we are trending above the exponential moving average we saw a nice little rebound right here which is pretty pretty beautiful if we have a look on the daily time frame guys we got rejected for a third time on the x on the exponential moving average so we are still on a downwards trend now another thing is the elliot, elliot wave that i want to have a look at the elliot wave, the elliot wave is something very very important in my opinion we do have uh we are entering a, a wave cycle right now so this would be the first uh, we got the first wave second wave this was a long third wave fourth wave and then the fifth wave so the fifth wave is not as big as a third wave the third wave is usually the biggest one now in my opinion we could come back down to 25,000 25,000 is a very important level in my opinion so we're gonna have to see what's up anyways guys if you guys like this video of course please leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow